I'm glad I finally found someone who can sit down and watch Leo films with me. Why, thanks, Robin. That means a lot coming from you. I tried watching the Caprio flicks with Batman, but he was always confused. Is she dead? Yes. I'll never let go. I promise. Is she dead? Yes. Is she dead? No. He's sleeping. Is he dead? What the fuck do you think? It's just good to be with someone. Someone who understands. Unlike Batman. I wish we could talk about something else. I mean, I just hear him all the time. Your adventures, time together, comics, television, your movies. Don't worry about it. Someday you'll get your own movie. You know, I have a new show on the air right now. You do? Yes, it's called Arrow on the CW. The fuck's the CW? Well, when UPN and WB went under, they decided to fuse together into one network. The CW. Oh, right. The network with all the chick shows. Well, I, I wouldn't say, um, chick shows. Compelling emotional dramas, I think would be a better term. Well, there was a time of good programming. Like the Batman Superman Hour. But that was the WB. Now it's just a channel for 13-year-old girls to finger bang and cry to over a teenage Clark Kent. Only a matter of time before you get a real network. Well, it does have a fan base. <laughs> yeah, sobby bitches. Let me tell you a funny story when I was in the Teen Titans. I was fucking this one chick who would get all emotional and shit over one of these stupid shows. She'd twist my arm into watching her One Tree Creek bullshit. Then all of a sudden, out of fucking nowhere, she'd break down and start moping and whining about how her family sold her into some kind of space slavery back on her home world. If that wasn't enough, she started asking me why I'm not saying anything. Why don't I seem to care? And I just turn to her and look and say, I'm trying to watch this fucking stupid show! Do you want me to listen to what Jason Dickhole Bandami has to say? Or your boy ass sad story? Because I ain't fucking doing both of them! Then she looks at me, like I just fucked and killed her dog, and says, Robin, how can you say those words? Easy! So I just stand up and walk out of there, with that crying fading away in the background. But then I remember this one chick in the Times Tower who liked Kevin Bacon flicks. But other than that, she was into some real sick shit. Like I said, she was into some real weird shit. My parents were killing the circus, but her dad's a demon from the ninth dimension. And there, you don't get crunch berries for breakfast, you get rape. But back to the story. We were going at it like two angry badgers hopped up on PCP, not breaking eye contact. Then I hear, how could you? And stand there in the doorway looking like some kind of fucking creep as Bitchfire or whatever the hell her name is. So I stand up and say, look, cunt! You gonna keep acting like a pussy? Or are we gonna fix this relationship? How can we ever fix this? If we can start by having a three-way. Well, that was pretty much a typical day at the Titans Tower. Well, we got a Justice League reunion to go to. Meet you at the car. Later at the Hall of Justice. Oh, look who it is. Hey, Robin. This is new Robin. He has pupils. Ooh.